we see injustices here and we are going to do everything we can to get to the truth. A local sheriff will soon be facing a federal civil rights violation lawsuit for how his office handled a deadly shooting at a Target store. This is News 6 at 6. I'm Lisa Bell. We're glad you're with us. I'm Matt Austin. This is all in response to deputies shooting and killing 20-year-old Jaden Baez at a Kissimmee Target parking lot last year. Investigators say he and two others stole Pokemon cards and pizza from the store, then rammed their car into a sheriff's office cruiser, forcing them to fire. Well, the theft charges against the three men have now been dropped. News 6's Catherine Silver has details on today's lawsuit. The pain as a father having his oldest child killed like that, it's uh, something I live with every day. Alejandro Baez's son was shot and killed by deputies in Osceola County in April 2022. Attorneys say the 20 year old was driving this car shown on surveillance video surrounded by deputies in a target parking lot. They ultimately opened fire after an alleged theft, shooting three men total. We need to hold the people responsible for my son's killing and the other victims accountable. His call for justice alongside his attorney, Mark Nijame, includes a new federal lawsuit that names Sheriff Marcos Lopez and two of his deputies. Nijame says inside information has led them to question not only the sheriff's office use of force, but also how the investigation was handled in the aftermath of the shooting. We are beyond suspicious of what we've been able to dig up so far. I'm holding four reports, all signed at the same minute by, by four different deputies with a lot of overlay. Nijame pointing out what he believes to be evidence of collusion and falsified reports. And then when we find out that through our sources that there are reports out there that are not signed actually by the person supposedly who signed it. His office is now questioning everything. We have to be suspicious of everything and we should be. And the public should be. Hours before the announcement, Sheriff Marcos Lopez was asked about the investigation while giving a press briefing on an unrelated case. Are you aware of any of your deputies manipulating documents? No. He says state law enforcement officers handed over their independent review to prosecutors eight months ago. He is calling for the state attorney's office to complete their investigation. All I know is that we've turned all out to the state and whatever they're doing on there, and I hope they wrap it up soon because we need to return these guys back to full so you may recall Sheriff Lopez and the governor have recently criticized the state attorney for how her office has handled some past prosecutions. Nijay believes that both want to remove Monique Worrell from office and in turn stop her from digging deeper into the sheriff's office. I reached out to the governor's office for comment. I also reached out to the state attorney. A spokesperson says that their investigation in Osceola County continues and the details are not available to release to the public at this point. In Orange County, Katherine Silver getting results. News 6.